Hey everybody, it's your buddy the Texan Detector and Coin Collector. Uh, today I'm doing a video for all my coin collecting noobs and maybe some coin collectors that just maybe needed a refresher. What I'm doing today is I'm doing five things every coin collector should have. Yes sir, five things every coin collector should have. Now, first on this list, the most important thing in coin collecting is know what you got know what you're doing so to do that you need some resources you need some books you need some knowledge now you can find a lot of it on the internet but I prefer to have a hard copy of some of the information that I need and me personally the first thing I think every coin collector needs is a red book that tells you the retail price of a coin now that's not the uh, price that you're probably going to get unless if you sell it unless you are a dealer or you're selling it in a dealer type setting but it lets you know um you know if you're going to buy a coin that you're paying a, a fair price now another book i think is very important is strike it rich with pocket change that has a lot of errors and whatnot now if you get more into errors, there are specific books that uh, deal with uh, Lincoln cents or uh, nickels or whatnot. So as you go, you'll find out what's right with you, right for you. But to start off, these are two books that I think just about every coin collector should have. Well, all right. Now the second most important thing. I believe every coin collector should have some type of now it doesn't have to necessarily be one of the ones I show you but some way to view your coin some way to magnify your coin to look for that doubling or just to admire your coin now I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I use and uh, probably some of y'all do too and it'll give you an idea of something maybe you could use I mean, like I said, this, this is no type of commercial for any of the products I use. These are just things that I happen to use. Now, first of all, the trusty magnifying glass. This one happens to have a light on it so you can get a little, a little light on your coin. This is a little bitty electronic microscope. Um, this is really good if you're looking for an error, like a re-put punch mint mark, doubling, something like that. Um, I mean, unless you're doing that, it's kind of a pain in the neck, but it's, it's kind of cool. It was cheap. I got it on Amazon for like three bucks. Uh, another trusty old-time favorite, the, the jewelry loop. Everybody uh, pretty much uses one of these. It's a great way to uh, look at your coin. And now, the new age way. You get you a USB pluggable microscope. Uh, mine's just a little cheap one. Yeah, I'm going to show you all the junk on my desk. It's just a cheap one. But, I mean, hey, that looks pretty doggone good. I mean, I have it uh, set up high so I can see the whole coin. Uh, I actually prefer to uh, turn the LED lights on mine off. And I use like an LED bar that's underneath that shelf. It gives me a real good look at the coin. Uh, if I'm really looking at a specific area, I will uh, bring it down closer to the coin so I can maybe I'm just looking at the lettering at the top or whatnot. But uh, like I said, I think these are very important tools in your tool bag if you're going to be a coin collector. All right, well, give me a second and I'm going to show you the third uh, most important thing every coin collector should have. Well, all right. The third most important thing every coin collector should have is some flips. I used to get the flips that were, uh, you know, the dime, the penny, the nickel, the quarter, and then I'm always running out of one or the other. Uh, I've actually gone to where I only get penny and quarter. A dime fits nice in a penny uh, flip. It is not a whole lot of space. A nickel fits fine in a quarter flip. And if it's a really nice coin, it's probably not going to stay in a flip anyway. Uh, and another important thing is to get you a flip clinch stapler, or a flat clinch stapler. What that means is the back of the staples will be flat. There won't be that little piece of metal hanging out that's going to tear up your next flip or your next coin. 
And uh, these are the little staples that go. You got to kind of special order them. But I mean, they're real cheap. I, you get like a huge box of these for like, I don't know, eight bucks on eBay. This was like, I don't know, I think it was like eight bucks. So all together, you know, you're good to go for a long time. So you want to have your flips because when you find that nice coin, you want to flip it up to protect it for, for now. Uh, normally, I don't keep them in flips forever. There are some coins that I have. It just depends on the coin. If it's a coin that I'm afraid it would, would tone it because of the flip, I'm not going to leave it in there. If it's just a coin that I put in a flip because it's a, I don't know, an 1876, you know, seated dime. And it, I mean, just average condition. That, that coin can stay in a flip for a while. All right. Well, this is the third thing that every coin collector should have. Hold your horses and I'll be back with the fourth. Well, all right. Now we're to the fourth thing that every coin collector should have in their repertoire, in their tackle box, in their toolbox. And that's a way to store your coins. Now once you flip up that coin, it's really nice to put them in some flip sheets and put them in an album. Although I do uh, not recommend getting the albums that are uh, designed for coins. I've had bad luck with them. Other people may disagree, but I normally like to get like the Trapper Keeper type. It just seems like it holds things together better. Then you got some pockets on the inside. Maybe you can put your magnifying glass or uh, some flip, uh, some slab coins or something in. Uh, another thing, uh, capsules. Capsules are really great when you have a really high grade coin you like and you want to keep it. That's a W quarter. It's not the best shape, but I put it in a capsule. I was just playing. I'd, I'd got these new capsules and I wanted to have some fun. Um, another thing, if you like to flip up your coins, let's say you have a bunch of Lincoln cents, or in this case, a bunch of quarters. And here's a another W quarter if you want to look at it. This one is, I believe, uh, worn, uh, worn in the Pacific. So, but yeah, it's a real neat way to keep your coins organized. You can even put little dividers in there to divide the years if you got a bunch of wheat cents or something you're trying to keep a uh, keep organized. And then. Another way is to get you uh, some uh, albums. That's always fun. This album doesn't have anything in it yet. It's just a empty album. I just bought it because I've been doing a bunch of nickel uh, roll hunting lately, and I thought it'd be fun to uh, you know do some uh, some albums. I've got some other albums I've done that are just about complete, and it's just real satisfying every time you find that that coin that you needed to fill your album. It's a great feeling. So these are a few different ways to store your coins. That because uh, once you get a coin, you got to be able to store it and keep it uh, keep it organized and keep it protected. All right. So now we're going to get down to the fifth thing, and it's probably something you didn't think about. All right. Like I said before, this is the fifth thing I think every coin collector should have. Every coin collector should have themselves a nice little digital scale. It doesn't have to be a fancy one. It does need to be one that reads down to a hundredth, a hundredth of a gram. Uh, the, the reason why you need this is because if you are, let's say you're searching uh, pennies and you find that 82 small date D, you need to find out if it's a 3.1 gram or 2.8, you know, or if you're into stacking silver, if that's your thing, uh, you buy a Morgan online. You may want to check and make sure that Morgan's authentic, and that's one of the good ways to check. Is uh, after you've done the magnet test, you do the weight test, and if it's in the right parameters of weight, you know, you know, you're starting to feel pretty good with your purchase here. So, a lot of people don't think about this, or they think about it later, and like, man, when they once they get one, they're like, why didn't I get this sooner? So, from your buddy, the Texan detector, uh, just some helpful reminders of five things every coin collector should have. Now maybe you got some other uh, ideas of uh, things that every coin collector should have. And if you want to leave that in the comments, that'd be great. Who knows? If it's something I think is really important, I might do a video about it. So until next time, it's your buddy the Tech Texan Detector. Happy hunting and stay dirty, my friends.